Hi Libra, this is going to be your love message for the 9th through the 13th of November. As always, keep in mind this is a general reading. It's not going to resonate with everyone that watches. Things can be opposite and roles could be reversed as well. If you're new, welcome to Soma Chandra Libra. This is a channel dedicated exclusively to Libra and also Sagittarius. You can see my readings for all 12 zodiac signs on my other channel called Soma Chandra Tarot. Subscribe and hit the bell to both channels so you know when I read for your sign there. Link to my website to check out private readings and other offerings is down below. Okay, so I'm a Chandra Libra. Let's get into it. Themes in love for the next couple of days. Heart with a key. Welcoming love. Meeting the one. Open your heart. Getting together and perfect. So heart with a key. But then karmic relationship. There's fleeting triggers. There's some turmoil. There's some lessons here. I think that someone is trying to let go and love letting go and loving you is what it says. And then not today with seduction, the sword and the rose is at the bottom of the deck, which is you. Also out of the messages of love Oracle deck, I have go slow, vulnerability, healing, old childhood wounds need revisiting and awakening. Someone's undergoing a spiritual transformation, but there are obstacles. Okay, so I feel like <clears throat> the relationship goes okay as long as you guys don't rush. Um, one or the both of you may have some of your buttons pushed over the next couple of days. There'll be some fleeting triggers and some turmoil, but then someone will let go and everybody will move on. There's some resentment here. There's some lessons being learned. But then someone's saying, not today. I can't deal about seduction. There might be fighting about like intimacy, like you may say to this person, I feel like you just want me for sex or sex is too important for you. I'm just not interested in seduction right now. With the sword and the rose coming out, it's like a need to protect yourself and stay in power. I feel like someone really wants to be in control. Yeah, I also see down here acts, break up, separate, but stop the pattern and then like you're working on it. But it's really important to go slow right now because someone's trying to open up. It does say, you know, go slow, take time to get to know each other. You can completely be completely open with this person, but there's definitely some healing that's happening right now. Something about the relationship is triggering someone. Waking something up and transforming. With the Awaken card, I heard someone's waking up for the first time in a long time. There's obstacles. There's old childhood wounds that need to be healed. There's also some red flags down here. Okay, we have the devil, Capricorn energy. Passionate, obsessive sometimes, but then resisting the devil. Someone wants the other person to open up. Let's just be calm. I definitely think there's a resistance happening, a resistance to some kind of a temptation, but there's like regrets. Here's the Page of Cups again, someone Here's you, Libra. This could be you, the King of Swords, like someone saying they're sorry to you. But then the Two of Swords, someone's at an impasse. There's a decision that needs to be made. A decision about a fire sign or a decision about being passionate. But I have the Four of Pentacles down here. Someone's holding back. <clears throat> I'm going to try really hard not to lose my voice. Overall energy of the person around you, though, is the Eight of Swords. They're all trapped in their head. The way they're feeling is the Seven of Swords. They're feeling insecure. They're feeling like they can't open up and be themselves, but they see you as the two of cups, someone that wants to talk. They might be afraid to open up and talk. What you need to know are your advice is the lovers and the final outcome is the moon. I have Leo, Gemini, Capricorn, <clears throat> Aries, Virgo, Pisces. Yeah, sorry, I just had to clear my throat. I don't know what my deal is today. So someone's all wound up. Stressed out. Clarifying this is strength, the four of wands, and the lovers. Are we breeding puppies? Bringing a dog over for the weekend? I always feel like strength is a like a pet. <laughs> um, so there's potential for like there to be stability in the relationship. Like there's a foundation here to be built upon. But this looks like someone coming over and getting intimate. I think also there's a fear that this is a situation ship and it's not defined yet. Like, I feel like strength is I'm holding back the four of wands. Some of you might be like, are, what are we doing here? Are we playing house? Are we together? Do you have other options? 
it's like this person feels like there could be stability here with you and that you're a good choice for them, but they seem to resist it and they get all wrapped in their head. They might have some air in their chart like you. <clears throat> and then with the seven of swords, someone's like running away. Look at him. He feels like he's got to be sneaky. Clarifying this is the five of swords, the emperor and the four of cups. There could be a father figure here an Aries here that someone's irritated with. They don't really quite know what to do. I actually heard something very specific. This person might be controlling right now. Like it's my way or the highway. They may have a short temper. They may feel somewhat irritated. The Four of Cups, in this deck, it doesn't look very mopey, but the Four of Cups is usually a little mopey. Like mopey, controlling, mad. This I'm hearing this person may like instigate fights with you or if they do feel triggered in some way, they'll be like, no, you don't understand. I'm this is my this is my hard no and I'm mad and I'm going to stand up for myself and I'm in control. This person's throwing a lot of masculine energy, but wait, I don't know what I want. If they are bitchy or shitty with you or a little controlling or you can't get much out of them, it's because they're playing duck and weave. They might be telling you one thing is wrong when another thing is wrong. This may be a defense mechanism. This person might be trying to protect themselves. They don't. I'm hearing they'll pick a fight. They won't even realize that they're doing it. They'll pick a fight because they're trying to delay something or they want it to be the way they want it to be. There might be a little bit of sabotaging going on, but they see you as the two of cups, ready to talk, ready to open up. Clarifying this is the Ace of Cups, the Nine of Cups, but the Nine of Wands. Okay. And your cards over here, Libra, you look like you really care about this person. You seem to be under the impression that they care about you and you really want to make this work, I think. Or you want to work through it. This person, I think, is the Nine of Wands. It's like, here you are, happy offering them a cup of love, talking about it, but then there's like a guardedness between the two of you. This might be mutual, working out the stuff, working out the kinks, but what you need to know are your advice is the lovers. So that is a, ma a match made in heaven, spirit trying to bring two people together, but it is about sex, harmony, love, also about having choices. It, it does say the lovers after all. It doesn't say the friends, it says the lovers. Clarifying this, though, is the devil, the two of swords, and the seven of wands. Okay, when I get the lovers and the devil, that's like kinky. And didn't this come out for you guys the last time? Like talk about sex and passion and what you guys are into. What kind of a relationship are we having? Someone may have posed the idea of something somewhat open, non-traditional, or someone's like the two of swords and the seven of wands are like hard nos. Like someone feels threatened. They feel like they have to defend themselves when they shouldn't have to. They don't want to make a choice now. They might be saying no to a Capricorn so they can, um, you know, go after something here with you or an Aries. <clears throat> like there could be some, for some of you, there could be some triangulation going on. But this person's saying no to something. Decisions need to be made and everybody needs to stop feeling like they have to defend themselves all the time. There's also maybe this idea of are we good for each other or are we bad for each other? With the lovers, but then also the devil. And then the final outcome is the moon. So like such a lack of clarity, the next five days, there's going to be moodiness, there's going to be a heaviness, there's going to be cyclical emotions, cyclical moods, and things are not as they seem. I feel like there's heavy emotion and a lot of confusion clarifying this is the magician, the hermit and the two of pentacles. You guys don't know what to do. I don't, it doesn't matter if this is your energy or their energy. It's like someone starts to manifest, but then they pull back and they do a lot of self-reflection and they're like, wait, is this what I should be doing? Hmm. I want to make a smart choice. I also think that maybe one of you is the pursuer and the other one is withdrawn and whoever the magician is, is trying to get the hermit to come out of their shell. And it's like, that's not working. Like, what, what do I do here? This person might be sending you mixed signals and they may be confusing you too. That's why Go Slow came out. Like, this is, someone feels vulnerable. 
like you if you're like having an awakening you're undergoing a spiritual transformation there's these unhealed wounds that are blocking forward motion and all of a sudden these old wounds from childhood are being revisited you do need to go slow so that you can just really allow for that vulnerability it's like yeah someone's triggered in little ways like it's like you guys are getting together and it feels perfect but then there's like this turmoil and then someone snaps on the other person and says now if there's a third party situation going on here someone needs to tell the seducer not today i'm done and also libra this person may be saying no to other people that are temptresses and seductors and you know there could be the lovers coming out twice with the devil, that could be like a Gemini or a Capricorn or a Pisces or somebody. There could be a third party that someone needs to say no to. Like, nope, I'm not doing this third party stuff. I'm trying to be in love here. But if they're pushing you away, they're triggered. That's why everybody needs to go slow. Here's what this person wants to say to you. Just being near you is intoxicating. Ooh, but I couldn't let you get close to me. So you're intoxicating to them, but they struggle to let you get close. I wish I could take back my words. I still feel the pain. They may say shitty things to you and then regret it. They may also like, again, I'm hearing so many mixed signals. They may say to you, they may actually say this to you. It's intoxicating. Like I'm so turned on by you, but I can't let you get close. I told you I could get close, but I wish I could take that back now. I still feel pain. I can't move forward. Yeah. Yeah. This person thinks they have all the time in the world too. They're emotionally reevaluating. They have emotional stability. They're not 100% sure what they want. Super guarded right now. And they're just sort of in the land in between. This person does not want to rush. They definitely don't want to rush. And in a more general sense, maybe they're just like, life isn't horrible for this person right now, but it's not really sexy either. Like, they're just sort of hanging in there. I wanted to know what the Nine of Wands was, because that's like, I have boundaries, I'm guarded. They don't want to move at a fast pace. So the Nine of Wands, under that is the Seven of Swords, the Knight of Cups, and the Hermit. Jesus Christmas. That's my daughter's new saying, by the way, Jesus Christmas. I like it. It's less offensive. Anyways, squirrel. <laughs> I think this... I think they're stalling a bit. I think that they think they have all the time in the world. I think they don't want to open up. I think they want to give it lip service, but then they don't want to do anything about it. Other than that, they've got a Virgo driving them insane. Yes, this person is sending mixed signals for sure. It's like, it's almost like they don't want to lose you, but they don't want you to get that close either. And that could be in reverse as well, because there's weird shit that needs to be worked out. Almost like there's something taboo that needs to be cleared out of the way. Here's what you have to say. Do I still have a chance? I have no idea what comes next. I don't know what comes next. I want to tell you how I feel. I love you unconditionally. I feel so happy with you is at the bottom of the deck. I think this is you. You feel happy with them. You want, you still want to have a chance. You want to open up. You have unconditional love for this person. You're being very compassionate. You have not placed conditions on your love for them at this time. Now, y'all know, y'all know how I feel about this. I have a saying, unconditional love is for babies and puppies. It's not really appropriate for adult romantic relationships. Like you're allowed to place conditions on what you expect and need out of a partner. But that doesn't mean that we don't have these moments, Right. Like I think, and the king and queen are cups is over here. Like you want to talk. I think you're also okay with not knowing what comes next because you do feel happy with them. Yeah, I think you want to be supportive too. Here's your cards. Um, Four cards came out for you. I could only get three to come out, but I'm, I just let them fly. You're the three of pentacles, the queen of pentacles, the moon, or I'm not the queen of pentacles. Maybe you are dealing with a Capricorn. I might have said queen of pentacles on purpose, but three of pentacles to the queen of cups and then the moon and the king of cups. Oh, I wanted to know what the moon was. The moon, what's clarifying that is the five of cups, the star and the ten of swords. I think 
that you see the two of you as a really good match in a lot of ways because you see the two of you as the king and queen of cups. But there is confusion and some illusion and intense emotions here. I think that you really want to work things out, whether you're the king or the queen. Like you want to keep working through this. You want to have, you want to build together. You want to learn from each other. The five of cups, the star and the ten of swords. This looks like having conversations about getting over really painful things that you regret, that you wish were different. You'd like to heal. You'd like to have freedom from the ten of swords. Like something was difficult here. Some of you were dealing with an Aquarius or a Pisces. Maybe you have that in your chart. I think that you have a lot of hope here. I think that you feel like there's a lot of untapped hidden potential between the two of you. If you did anything to hurt them, maybe you're sorry. Maybe you are day doing. I mean, when I get the moon and the star, there can be some daydreaming happening where you're imagining the two of you talking it out, working it out, letting go of painful things, healing together. You seem to think that there's a, a healing potential in the relationship. I also think that for a few of you, this may be a conversation that you need to have with someone so that you can pursue new love with someone different. You may, I'm also hearing that a few of you have to like share a home with an ex. I'm hearing that one of you takes care of the other one's parent or father. It's like some of you are, you need to share a home. You want to pursue new love, but like, and you, I'm hearing it. You keep saying, if this is your scenario where you've been like successfully cohabitating with someone that you're not with anymore, it's like there's this idea of new love coming out, but you're still living with your ex and it's all of a sudden kind of awkward and then someone's throwing their weight around and then they're jealous and mad and no, you can't bring them over here to have sex or they may gaslight you a little bit. There's definitely a power struggle thing going on somewhere in this scenario. I'm going to do an extended because... I think that you really think this can all be worked through and moved past. But this person is in a weird place. That's why everybody needs to go slow because they are feeling pain, wanting to take back things they've said. They think it's intoxicating to be near you, but they won't let you get close. Do you guys drink too much when you're together? I just heard someone say, I don't drink at all. Good for you. I'd like to get to that phase in my life. So I'm going to do an extended because I want to see just a little bit more. But overall, Libra, there's stuff that needs to be worked out. You guys do need to move slowly and talk about feelings and watch out. One or the both of you might be triggered. Link to the extended and my website are down below, you guys. I'm always listening to the universe for you, Libra. Take care. I love you. I'll see you next time.